Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here. How you doing? Welcome back to the Long Dark. So what we need to do today is that we need to head back down here. As uh, uh, we found a note with some details on possible forest talker activity around Mystery Lake. Well, anyway, we, we did the bits. We need to go back down there and just see him again. Because that, that, was, that was like the follow-up bit. I also want to do a load of fishing at the ice huts because... Then we get a load more fish, which means we get oil for when we want to go and explore the dam. That's one of the next things we've got to do. And then we've got Hank's Hatch that we want to go and look at up there. There's not a great deal else to do apart from possibly go all the way to the maintenance yard over here for the last supply cache. I didn't think it was worth doing that. I honestly didn't because um, we'd have to go all the way through that one. And then all the way through here around the landslide bit and all the way over to here uh, to get to it and then all the way back again. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I just don't think it's worth the effort. Um, the rest of it, yeah. We go and do the rest of it. We haven't got that much more that we need to do. I've got 31 kilos of stuff on me at the moment. And I don't know how much of this is actual excess. Oh, I've got some extra tins on me at the moment. So I could get rid of some of those right there. Uh, drop, 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 and yeah, I'll drop all of them. And I made some more fishing hooks so that we've got those. They're ready to roll. We've got stuff that I've got. Yeah, that's really light. Need to worry about that. Uh, food here. I've got plenty of food on me. I could actually eat a little bit of food before we go. If I have... One of these tins of tomato soup. I can dump the empty tin on the ground as well. Um, I've got a load of wolf skins there. So what I'm thinking is we'll be able to use the wolf skin. Uh, let me go to there a second and drop that one. There we go. Um, we've got some wolf skins here. Plus we've got more in here as well, which we're going to be able to use and I'm thinking that we could try to make ourselves a second wolfskin coat. I've only got two wolfskins at the moment. We need five to be able to make the coat, don't we? I think we need five. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to have a look at you right there. And that one, wolfskin coat. No, four. Four and four, four cured gut. Estimated time, 25 hours. It was 37-something hours. So whether it's because we improved our crafting or our, you know, we improved something that's reduced that down 25 hours, or if they just reduced it as a requirement. We've also got the deerskin pants that we want to make as well, but we're not going to worry about those right now. So there's a lot of stuff that I still want to do, but it's not that many episodes left, which means that we will be taking a break until such time... As episode three comes out, the the um uh, episode three, the third uh, chapter, chapter three comes out. Once chapter three has come out, then we'll be going and doing a bit more with it. But we've got to wait for chapter three. I don't know when that one's going to get here. Now we no longer have our absolutely wonderful flare gun, which means that for wolves, we're going to have to get better at shooting. At the moment, my shooting leaves a little bit to be desired, although there's no wolf around here. Probably be alright, because I've been shooting a lot of wolves. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything at all. What I want to do first is go down to there. Um, and and we'll, we'll speak to this guy. Uh... But I also want to go along there and climb up that rope. Remember the rope that was against the cliff? We've got that to do as well. And then we come back and we spend the rest of the day fishing. It's kind of the sort of thing that I was thinking of doing. Now, what is... Is this thing over there? Against that little bit of an island. I don't see any birds around. <gasps> There's a deer over there, look! Dear little deer, right there. Look, see him? All the way over there. Long way away. I wonder if I could shoot him. Let's not worry about shooting him just now. He'll still be there when we come back. We may be able to take a shot at him. Another deer skin would always be handy. 
We can complain about additional deer skins. And it's one of the three houses up there. Now, obviously, we, we want to just listen carefully. Anything that might come along. So far, seems all right. Starting to snow a little. Wind is starting to pick up just a tiny bit. Could be heading in for a bit of a blowout. Uh, we've got... Yeah, that's the body. We've already searched that body. It's nothing to do with us there. Uh, well, so I thought that was uh, like a bigger patch of blood on the ground for a minute, but it's not. That's the, uh, the wooden walkway that was outside. That's nothing for us to concern ourselves with. So we want to go to this one right here. Is it that one? Yes, it is. This one right here. Said come back tomorrow. Let's see if they left anything useful. Ah, right. Load of books. Something ripped up on the ground. There's more stuff ripped up on the ground over there. And... Forest talker note, deer skin pants. New deer skin pants, warm, supple, and tough, offers a great combination of mobility and warmth. Wear these to feel like the Mad Max of the North. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Cooking on gas now. Um, so that one there is 1.5 and 1. That is 1.9 and 0.5 for the combat pants. Uh, so it's higher temperature and lower wind chill. And then these here. Those are two and two. I lose a bit of the sprint and the weight is a little bit higher, but not very much. Put those bad boys on. Look at this. That's better. If we can make it, we, we've got deer skins. We can make ourselves another set of these. And then we've got two sets of them. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm liking this. And then you right there, I think we'll just... We'll harvest these. 30 minutes, a piece of cloth. It goes from 1.5 kilos down to about 0.2 kilos. So, yes, it's, it's definitely worth just sacrificing them very quickly. Like that. Forest Talker note. A note left for you by the Forest Talker. Thank you for helping me. Not everyone would have done that. I left this item for you. It belonged to my friend. Hopefully you'll be able to make use of it. Maybe our paths will cross again. Well, thank you very much, sir. Very much appreciated. Okay, so we got some books over here. I'm going to leave those. I'm not going to weigh myself down with them. Uh, a broom in there. Have we got anything useful? There's a big old trunk right here. Could end up being useful. Uh, I've got loads of cloth. I've got others. a worn wool toque. It tells me right there. Knitted wool cap, Canadian style, pronounced toque. Or Tuk. Okay, it's telling me now. It's pronounced Tuk. Somebody's obviously been... More than me have been pronouncing it's wrong. If they feel the need to actually tell us how to pronounce it. I'll take that. Because I don't think I've got additional um, headgear. I've got that one. That's obviously like super snug and warm. And then that's 1 and 0.5. That's 1.2 and 0.6. Actions right there. Repair you 25 minutes. That's a lot of time to repair a hat. There, there's our toque. Back and go to you. Two and one. Perfect. Okay, we put that one on. I've now got a 27 degree warmth bonus with a windproof bonus of 12. Sounds like I'm going to need it. The wind has picked up a little bit. Search the metal container. What do we got? I wonder uh, if this is any good to eat. Who matches... Always good. Uh, let's have a look under here. Something over there. What's that? Oh, that's, that's nothing. Um, nothing else around here. I've looked down there. We've got some stacks of papers. Nope. 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 The deerskin trousers are pretty good, though. 
Deer skin trousers. Oh, medical. Nothing in there. Right. All right. That's, that's all we're getting from in here. Let's go on our way. I wanted to climb up that cliff. The outside temperature right now is air temperature minus 17, wind chill minus 18. It feels like three is getting colder. Look, it's actually it's getting colder and getting colder quite quickly. Let's go out into the lake a minute. That deer that we see, now it's gotten cold. Now it's gotten cold. Look, it feels like minus three degrees. Air temperature minus 21. It's getting colder and colder. It's actually starting to feel cold for us. But it's, it's taking a full-blown storm to get bad enough that it feels cold for us. Ooh, now it's getting really cold. How, co how cold's it gotten? Minus 25. Feels like minus 8. That's pretty cold for us. Minus 8. But still, that's not bad. By the time we get over to that cliff, if I'm going in the right direction... I want to do this without actually referring to the map. I want to see if I can find my way over there. I probably can't. I mean, that's the little island that's in the middle. So I should go on a little bit further than that. And I should be able to go on around the corner and I'll get there. In theory. Where's that deer gone that was there? Yeah, it feels like minus nine right now. Getting colder. Once we reach any kind of shelter whatsoever we'll probably be all right though so there's that bit i want to go in this way should i have a gun available i don't think any animals are out on a day like this but we'll have the gun available just in case right temperature is still feeling like minus nine at minus 24 degrees Minus 24. I can't even comprehend, personally, just how cold that might feel. I've never experienced it. The coldest I've ever known it was minus 19 degrees. Um, well, external outdoor temperature at minus 19 degrees. I've been into a deep freeze. I used to work in a supermarket stacking shelves many years ago. And they have these deep freezes. You had the, the normal deep freezer that was like minus... Five, and then you add a colder one that was minus 10 then you add a super cold for long term storage and that was kept I think at like minus 25 something like that it was, it was very cold anyway um, and the very cold one you know I, so I, I, I kind of I know what it was like in there minus 10 degrees now I got a double down arrow on how cold it is and that, that is bitterly cold if I go over this way, look, I go right up against there, I've literally just got to duck out of the wind and I'm warming up. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. The, as, soon as, I, as soon as I'm out of the wind, it feels like three degrees for me right now. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm warming up right now. This terrible, terrible storm blowing through, and I'm actually physically warming up, not getting colder. Right, the whole way through, I, I go up here. I'm, I'm warming up. Right, I'm right here. Most people be freezing to death right here, and I'm still warming up. Now, I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, before we go on up there, let's go and take some shelter, the leeward side of the rocks right here. We will have a little bit to eat. So I've got military grade MRE right there. I've got some salty crackers. I'm going to eat the salty crackers because that's going to lower my water value the most. And it's also going to... Right, that's 50. No, I don't want that. 750. I will go with a tin of soup. Um, And then I'll drink some water. And that'll make the biggest difference to me. That's, I'm going to lose the most weight overall by doing it like this because I'm carrying three kilos of water. There we go. Right. Still warming up. 
It was like three degrees right here. We've got a little bit less weight that we're carrying. It's not ideal, but we do have less. By the time we get up to the top up there, we could have gotten quite tired. But I think this is the best we're going to do. So, mountaineering rope. My stamina starts <sighs> off not great. I think it's all right, though. Because it's, it's not the actual stamina, the running stamina, that um, we lose. Is this one here with the hand one, and then our overall tiredness as well, which does drop down, but we're still above half on that, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that one. There we go. Right, let's lower down my tiredness. Come over to here. I've got orange soda. We've got some cedar firewood. I've got an energy bar right there. This is all good i got another one to go up all the way over there, so I kind of want to wait until my... Yeah, okay, my, my energy is all back up as high as it's going to go, I think. We'll go up again, we'll go up higher still. And then when we come back down, then we'll gather up this stuff in here. We could even see about lighting a fire inside that tree, but I don't think we need to worry about it. We want to go on up to this next bit. Hopefully we can get up there as well. Our hands, uh, the hand thing, it should be all right. That's that's how far we can climb on a single rope climb. I'm just hoping that we'll be able to let ourselves back down again without too much trouble. That's the bit that I'm a little bit more concerned about. Because now, obviously, the weariness is getting much... Like, our um, tiredness level is dropping quite rapidly. Go on. Okay, he's really struggling now. I think that's to do with tiredness and... No, 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 don't you dare! Whoa! <laughs> that was seriously close, that was. But look how much our tiredness has dropped. I think I should have carried some more stuff up here. There's a cave right there. Just in case. Let's have a gun. Ooh. See the firewood sticks. We've got a fire over there. I've got uh, a snare. There's a bag, a book, another coat, uh, uh, no, another um, hood. Hood, a uh, hat, rather. It's a hat. It's a hat. Um, right, overall, everything's looking pretty good here. Don't have anything dangerous. My. He's saying now that I'm overweight. Why am I carrying an overweight thing? Is that because of how tired I am? Yes, it is. Look. We're now really tired. Right? We need some sleep. Book. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Oh, well, I'll carry that one then. And then I've got another wool toque. Search your backpack right here. We've got. Trousers, beef jerky, Stacy's grape soda. There is our campfire. There is a snare. We've got some timber right there. We're going to have to light a fire up here. Um, we're going to have to get some sleep. So what I'm going to do before I get some sleep and get that fire lit is I'm going to come out here into the snow. And I'm going to go to that one right there. 45 minutes. Break that down. 45 minutes of me being exposed to this cold wind. Three down arrows now. Feels like minus 13. Too heavy. Right, that's to do with the wind chill as well. And because of how tired I am, I think. I think the tiredness does play a part in that. Because now we're, we're getting a lot more tired than we were. So there's three pieces of um, cedar. I've got more sticks like and stuff. like something is sapping my energy. Yeah, that's me. I'm sapping my energy. I got more sticks and stuff indoors, in the cave. We have to stay up here. So it's not a huge, it's not like particularly exciting up here with the cave. And wow, that is coming down fast now. Minus 14 my degrees. Feet. If I stay out here for 45 minutes and I chop up another one of these limbs, it's probably going to give us frostbite. But I've never had frostbite before, so let's risk it. Hypothermia risk. I'm risking it. 
Yeah, that was probably stupid, but I've now got the extra one. I can run back Too here. Too cold to think. Too cold to think. Get into the cave, and I'm instantly warming up, even though we haven't got anything going at the moment. Campfire burned out. Stick, stick, stick. See the firewood. Campfire, start the fire. And I've got loads of accelerant. I've got spare accelerant everywhere. If I take that off a minute. The book, that was a 100% success rate anyway. Using the book. Go there, accelerant onto there. Look at this. An easy start to a fire. Absolutely wonderful. I guess it's an hour already. Throw on the book. Throw on all of the fur firewood and all of the sticks. Up. Can I add any more to the, fi to the fire? Chuck the whole lot on. All of it, just like that. And then go to you and the bedroll. We'll put you down there like that. And no, 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 not yet. I need to have a drink before I go to sleep. Uh, Stacy's grape soda at 8%. It's a bit good idea to drink that one down. Get rid of that one. Right, there's the, the grape soda. And we're going to give ourselves six hours of sleep to start with. We've healed our hypothermia risk. That is fantastic. Then we'll chuck some more sticks. Actually, no, I don't want to chuck too many more sticks on the fire. Mainly because I want to keep... We've still got seven hours. Fully warmed back up. I want to keep some of the stuff. Right? I want to keep some of the timber. Very dark out here. I'm just coming over to get some more of this. For when we go fishing, right? I want to do a load of fishing. And I want to fish up um, as much fish as we can so that we can get lamp oil for our lantern and then use that one in the future. So what are we doing at the moment with regards to weight? We've got 35.5 out of 5. So really, no, I don't want to be putting anything else on. I've got more food and drink. So I could have some of that. Could have an orange soda. I get rid of some of it, and we will go to you, and we will just have one of them. Eat that one down. Not a lot of weight on those chocolate bars, but that's fine. The beef jerky. Right, no, we won't do that, but we will drink a little bit more water right there. So that's, that's lowered our overall weight down a little bit. And then as we're in the cave... Let's just go back into our bag over here. I've got one can there that I'm carting around, and I'll dump that one. Once we pick our bedroll back up, it's going to change things all over again. Uh, campfire right here. Now, fuel. I've got three pieces of fur firewood on me at the moment. Plus, I've got ten sticks. Go to the bedroll. We'll give ourselves another eight hours of sleep. The fur firewood and the sticks, that's what we're taking back home to the office. And we'll be using that so that we got to, we can keep the fire going for absolutely ages in the office. Is that still going? I had eight hours sleep, didn't I? How is that one still going? I said eight hours. I don't know. For whatever reason, it's still going. Uh, bedroll pick up. We're overweight. But yeah, taking that lot down there, back down to our camp. We've got two more bits of cedar over there that we could go if we went back down the two ropes. We might be able to head down this way towards our main office. Actually, I think we can. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Right, we're up here. So, actually, we're looking in exactly the right direction. This is the direction we want to go. So I might be able to walk down here. So I've only left behind a couple bits of cedar. I can come. I can get that anytime. Um, I can get that from all over the place. There are other places I can go to get that. So I'm not that concerned about it. I'll head down here. And it's very likely that I'll be able to get down from here safely enough. It's just that I can't climb this mountain, I suspect. So like the rope going up that way is... Almost a bit like a shortcut for us, essentially. Although there was a wolf that we shot, and he came round this way. We shot him with our very last flare, and he came running around here. 
loads of them over there now. I think it's like somebody suggested before, like the wolves do start to close in more and more as the game progresses. You know, I can probably walk all the way up to the top of that cave up the top without having used that rope. There's a deer over there. One extra deer skin carting around to be able to repair our deer skin trousers, especially if we've got two pairs of trousers. That might be good. And yeah, he's, he's, he's run away now. I've tried shooting that one before. I've definitely tried shooting that deer before. There's three, there's two branches I can see lying down that we should be able to get some bits from. Let's go a little bit this way. Now. Okay, we're spooking that deer really easily. Alright, it's... A dead calm, and we're right out in the open, so he's seeing us really easily. I only just seen him moving then, but he is spooking remarkably easily, so this may not be the easiest hunt. There he is, down over there. If I crouch down now, am I going to be able to get close enough to have any chance of shooting him? Crouching, I'm supposed to be able to see them. There he is. Down there. I reckon if I'd pulled the trigger then, I might have been able to get him. But I want to get closer. We all know what I'm like when I'm shooting. I can't hit the side of a barn. Or the door. Or any other part of the barn. I end up just missing. Right, you've got to bring the gun up and shoot pretty quick. You just don't get it. Right, I think it's going to be there. Right, I definitely hit him. I hit him. Right in the chest then. I definitely hit that deer. We just need to follow him now. So that we can skin him. He's gone all the way down there. I want to go in a straight line straight down there. I shot that deer. Look. There's the deer hoof prints. And there are blood stains on the snow. We've got a chance. I might be able to get this deer. Right. That was that was a good shot. Definitely shot him. I mean, but I only winged him. I, unfortunately, I only wounded him. So he's... Um, this could be a while. I can hear birds. That might mean that he's already perished. See the blood spots? There's a lot of blood spots. I can only take this as a good sign. Did he make it? Uh, if he has made it, I don't know where he is. He's gone running a very long way. Just keep trying to follow these blood spots. That's, that's, that's all. I just need to track the blood. Got to keep following it. Which way did he go? He came up to here. Came to that point right there. Oh. Gone round this way. Now where did he go? I can do this. I can track a bleeding deer. I've got to be able to do this. People are looking and laughing, Frith. Right, no pressure or anything, but people are looking at you. They're watching you right now, and they will laugh at you if you're not able to do this properly. So just keep following. No pressure. Just make sure you get it absolutely right, or you will be mocked for many days. And you'll also feel bad because you, you shot the deer and you didn't make sure that it was killed. Okay, we're going back this way. I suppose I ought to run. Let's run just in case the, the blood spots start to dry up. Which way is it? He's, he's gone that way. He's gone up here now. Gone up there. There's the spots. Still, still going. He's still going. I'm, I'm, I'm worn out. He's gone a really long way. He hasn't stopped. 
The blood seems to have, uh, there's less and less blood on the ground. I'm, I'm thinking this means that he's going to recover. And I'm not going to get my deer. I'm not going to get my kill. Oh, great. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. We're still, we're still following the spots. I'm looking hard on the ground now. Has he gone down that way? No. Going along here. Still see these spots. Uh, there. This way. Yeah, there we go. We got. We still got the line of them. I'm very glad that it's not snowing or anything, because I'd have lost him a long time ago. I wouldn't have had any chance of being able to do this. Oh, wait, wait, look. His actual hoof prints now. He slowed down right there. There he is. I was just getting ready to finish him off with the final shot. He's just gone around in a huge, great big circle. And there is our deer carcass. That's the one that I wanted. I'm not going to worry about the meat. Uh, the gut, I'm not going to worry about that either. We're just going to take the skin. The meat, we'll leave it for the wolves. Hopefully they'll eat that and they won't eat me. So we're just going to take that. That one hide right there. Because if we've got deerskin trousers, we need deerskin hides in order to be able to repair them. And I'm hoping to be able to make another pair of deerskin trousers. So next up, we will take this one hide that we've got. And we'll take that back to the house. I'm also going to go over this Looks way like first. Looks like I made it through another night. I did. I made it through another night. we go back over this way and we will harvest this cedar limb 45 minutes three pieces of cedar All right, it's getting quite misty at the moment and another one 45 minutes three pieces of cedar there I've now got six pieces of cedar firewood this is so we've got loads of firewood on us for when we want to cook up all of the fish we're going to have a huge mountain of fish and we're going to want to cook it all and then when we cook it all, it's um, that's going to provide us with all the oil that we're going to want for when we're exploring the dam. So at the moment, i got a load of fish chucked down in the snow outside. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to do anything with it. And I'm going to go indoors. We're going to have a bite to eat. Uh, we're going to drop all of the firewood that we're carrying. We're also going to drop the deer skin. Uh, that one right there. Okay, so deer skin right there. Let's drop you. And then firewood. I'll take that upstairs. Yeah, loads of firewood. I don't know if I'm going to even have enough room in the cupboards that I got here. This is my f main storage cupboard at the moment. Six kilos. Right. Fire right there. Three kilos and three kilos. Oh, right. Fur is a kilo a piece. There. These are six kilos a piece. Transfer all. Uh, sorry, uh, half a kilo a piece. The seed. So cedar is definitely better than fur, I think. Although I don't know how long each one lasts. Uh, 1.65 kilos. I'll transfer all of that. And then... Let's not worry about the matches. And I've got one of those over there. So I've got 14.15 kilos in there. Nothing to transfer, nothing to transfer here. That's looking pretty good. Let's have a look. I'm parched at the moment. Air temperature minus three, but it feels like 23 degrees to us. Because we are doing exceptionally well. We water. are carrying 3.1 kilos of weight. That'll be some of the food that I'm carrying. I'm going to take care of that right now. First up, the gamey venison. Ooh, that's making me very thirsty. Uh, so, in order to solve that, orange soda right there. We'll have a bit of that. That'll make us feel a bit better. And we will go to carrying more of these. These new tomato soups, I know they're they're fairly weighty. They're like half a kilo a piece, I think. Let's have a look. Uh, soup is 0.25 kilos. That's 0.25. That's 0.25. Those are only 0.1 a piece. Right, and then I've got a kilo of the MRE. Okay, so the, the, the soup isn't actually as bad as I thought it was. 
I'll eat up one of those anyway. And then... I think we just want to finish off with a little bit of water. Yeah, because... Uh, the soda... Actually, no, we'll have the soda as well. That's going to... It's not going to quite fill our hunger bar all the way up. But it will most of the way. There's another little bit extra that is gone. And then the rest of the liquids there. Get those. So that's all now completely full. And then I can go back to here and go to there. And then I've got one tin right there. I'll drop that one. And I'm not going to drop anything else. I suppose I could actually... Right, the ex we've got some spare clothing, so I'm going to put that in this trunk here. I drop that one in there. The gloves as well, that one as well, and that one as well. Right. The others are stuff that I'm wearing. We are now 28.3 kilos. 28.3 is fine. I'm going to keep the rest of the stuff on me that I've got. Uh, this lot is yeah, that's, that's fine. It can stay on the ground. That'll be a couple days. The last thing that I'd like to do in today's episode is I want to go down to the lake again. Braving all the wolves. There could very well be a wolf or two. Uh, we're going to do some fishing and then in our next episode we're going up and we're opening up Hank's Hatch. It's going to be the next thing we do. I'm going to take, because I don't know what the hatch is going to be like. This could be a big underground bunker that's got like a load of storage. So I'm going to take a storm lantern that is full of fuel. I'm not going to take spare fuel with me for that one. Uh, but I will take a storm lantern that's got a litre of fuel. So we're going to want to do our fish first. We're going to need to cook them up. So that'll probably be the first thing we do is cook up the fish. Um... Is there anything else I need to worry about, really? Get those fish cooked up once we've done them. Looking around here, I don't see any sign of any wolfy poos. Oh, wait, what's that? Is that a stone over there? See? That is a stone. You can see the snow on top of it. I wonder if maybe it was a wolf carcass or something like that. Because we did kill a wolf around here. But I'm pretty sure by this point that wolf would be gone. I don't see any sign of any other wolf around. Let's go into here. And fishing is all we're after now. I'm not going to use that. That would be the one that I would... I'd be less heartbroken at losing that one than I would the others. Although I do have a spare hatchet, so maybe I should be using the hatchet to break the hole in the ice. I'm always concerned that the, there's an inherent chance of us um, losing something in there. We're going to go with six hours of fishing to start with. We do six hours of fishing. It's going to take us through a little bit of time. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, there's one fish. There's another... It's a whitefish isn't it i think it was called um one and a half kilos for that one the fish are quite heavy we've got a smallmouth bass keep going with the fish keep going with these uh, another whitefish it's getting darker another whitefish it's gonna be dark completely and another one right there okay so i'm really attracted to predators right now do another three hours I'm of fishing. Leave something behind. There's another one. And another one. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Doing well on this, although I'm running out of water now. What was that? That wasn't a white fish, was it? I'm really thirsty and another yeah, it was. It was all white fish that I was picking this up. Gear's starting to slow me down. Right, drink. There. Now. I'm really attracted to predators. I'm carrying 47 kilos in weight. I'm gonna need the hunting rifle. And I've got no clue which direction I need to be going. Okay, it's that way. I've got absolutely no hope of seeing anything. Right, it's pitch black. I cannot see a thing. 
I can literally just see the gun very faintly on the screen. I can't see anything. So I know that you guys have got no hope of seeing anything either. We have to go by ears on this. Like, literally, we're just hoping that a wolf doesn't come out of the darkness. If it does, I've got little to z pretty much zero chance of being able to shoot it. We're going to have to physically fight it off by hand. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is what it's going to be. Okay, something's going to turn up any minute now. I can feel it. It's going to leap out of the darkness and it's going to grab us. I'm getting scared. Oh, there's the end of the lake. Yeah, we're slightly off course that way. Take us to the house. Okay, I'm way off course. Map. I am way off course. Great. Could have stumbled right into the open jaws of a wolf and I wouldn't have even realised. Up through here. Uh, all this fish that I'm carrying. I'm... Um, I am quite tired, so I think what we'll do is we'll drop all of the fish outside in the snow like we've done with the other lot of fish. We'll dump the whole lot so that it keeps reasonably fresh. And then we will go indoors. We can get some sleep, and then in the morning we'll be able to cook all of the fish. So that's going to be our first thing that we do. We've got loads of timber in the house. We don't need to worry about getting any more fuel for a fire. Uh, we can have a, a massive great big cook-off. We've got pans and stuff that we can use for doing that. And then we'll be able to gather ourselves a huge load of oil. Which will be absolutely wonderful. Let's get up to here. And... Right, see, th those are gamey right there. So they're slowly deteriorating, but they're not deteriorating like hugely fast. Uh, so what have we got? 2 kilos, 1 1.5, 1.5, 2, 2.1, 2.1, 1.5, 1.5, 1.6, and 2.8 for that one right there. That is a ridiculous amount of weight in fish that we have carried all the way up here. So we got more food than we'll know what to do with. Uh, but hopefully we'll get a whole load of oil as well. It's the oil that I really want. Now, I'm going to go to light source right there, and I'm going to light that one so that we can at least see what we're doing, and we're going to head up to bed. Uh, but that is all we got time for in today's episode. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And we'll just get our sleep a minute. I'm hoping this will bring us back to, well, almost fully rested at least. And then that will be it. Bed. Uh, wait, really? We got one out. You know what? We'll do it from here. We'll, we'll just do it from here. Because uh, we can light the fire and we can start doing this now. Because we're fully rested now anyway. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.